Hey, Alcom. This is uh, Mr. Mendoza. I just have a couple questions concerning the roof uh, before I make your final payment. You'll see here that there are there's a shingle area here that's actually lifted up, and from one side of the roof all the way to the other side, I have a question about this line that you see here all the way across the roof. If you come in person, you can see it clear. I'm going to see if I can't zoom in here. No, it doesn't look like I can. So, um, oh, here we go. Maybe this shows up on the video or not. But you see the line just is showing all these shingles just coupling right along this line. And I need to know why that's happening. Uh, and can we correct this? The next, uh, I, th I think you'll see that, oh, jeez. All these lines. Uh, I think you'll see that the coupling continues even here, as I said, uh, at the end, at the edge of this roof. There were a couple, actually, the very end caps here that were that coupled, uh, but after the snow melted, it seems like it all settled in. But these these are just not. Uh, they're not settling down, and that's a real problem for me. All right. Uh, see you on Wednesday. Bye. The next issue is in the back roof. That was the front of the house. In the back of the house, you'll see that there's more coupling here. There's along this whole ridge from here to about here. Uh, that, so I was wondering what, what's going on there. Uh, you'll see that the, this it's not just a shingle, but then an entire row here from about here to here that's coupling. And then look up here at the other side, there's a bunch of shingles that are coupled as well. So if you could come out, like I said, we're going to meet on Wednesday. So if you can come on on Wednesday and answer some questions for me, I'd be great. Uh, I don't know what's going on with this. Or can we get these corrected? Uh, I don't know if you saw 